Hey guys, we are back in Dollar Tree. First up is the walkthrough. Stay tuned. At the end of this video, I will show you what I got. Back the sequence pillows. They have the star, they have the Christmas tree, and down here they have the stocking. They put out more of these bows. These tiny velvet bows are really, really cute. And they finally got in the plaid ornaments at this location. They're really a nice size and well made. It actually looks like wood. Really nice. Put the rose out, the, Martinel, the Martinelli's uh, rose, which is really good. Um, they put it as gift options and they also have the apple cranberry sparkling cider. These items are selling out. I was here yesterday. A lot of people are taking advantage of them. I'm not bold enough to try the cheese, even though I love cheese. refrigerate after opening i mean maybe it's official i did come back and get another sweet hot mustard i don't know why i didn't even try the first one um and those are the jams the jellies have anybody have any of you tried hot pepper jelly i haven't i'm curious but i'm scared the first time i seen a airplane from Hot Wheels and it's from Marvel X-Men and it says new for 2021. They also have some other cool vehicles. Looks like collectibles. So maybe if you know somebody who's a car lover. I don't know what kind of car this is. I don't know. And they have other ones that say new for 2021. I'm just happy to finally see them. They just put these out. First time I've seen Dollar Tree sell staples. I've got a stapler from here before, but never could find staples. And another woman had bought a stapler. I was online behind her and she was like, you don't have the staples. This is the first time and you get 3,000 staples. So even if you don't need them and you think you might want to buy a stapler down the road, I would get it and put it up. Because you never know. This mini truck set from Turbo Wheels is really, really cute. So you have four different kind of trucks and it comes with signs, road signs. Really, really cute. Also new is, are these mini Hot Wheel trucks? Bone Shaker. Lava Shark, Mega Rex, and they're like dinosaurs. Yeah, that's why they have those names. And this one, Roger Dodger. Also have the tippies from Peanuts. And then I don't know who these are. The Disney tippers. So this looks like Donald Duck, Goofy. I don't know, it's supposed to be Mickey. Yeah, they have these now. Different squishies. These Kiss Nail stickers are different. Are new, not different, but they're new. Have not seen these. They even have from Fingers these with bling, really, really nice. And different stick on designs. I've not seen these before and I'm really shocked that we're seeing them because we normally don't get name brand cosmetic items. I mean, very rare at my locations close to me. When I travel, I find. Has anybody heard of Penny Sticks? I've never seen this brand at Dollar Tree before. They have these butter pretzel sticks. They have these honey wheat pretzel sticks. And those are the only two varieties that I see, but I've never seen that brand before here. They do have Schneider's, which is one of my faves from Dollar Tree. I even like these um, little snack bags, six count lunch pack. I buy these often. 
and it's a little bit of pretzels in each bag which is great so you're not eating as much so whenever I see these I get them they have the rods which are great unfortunately some of them are broken up in the bag but if you're doing any Christmas treats with pretzel rods um, Dollar Tree does have them and they do have a name brand one in fact these uh, weave baskets they're not that sturdy but they are massive and um this time they also have black i don't remember seeing black last year i just remember white maybe another color but i don't remember black but this would be perfect if you're making a basket this would be perfect I found this all-purpose glue dries clear extra strong precision no nozzle bonds with wood metal ceramic porcelain leather fabric most plastics for a dollar i'm I'm willing to give it a shot and put it in my craft stash. As I said in a previous video, finally seeing these LED candles again at Dollar Tree. It's been a while since I've seen them. So this location has three different colors. They have the red, pure white, and they have the off-white. I don't know where these have been. I don't know if it has anything to do with shipping delays, but Seeing them again I wish they had the smaller ones they had the tiny ones before very hard to find nowadays but Dollar Tree put out these new house shoes from Juncture they're in the last minute gift section I don't know if I would give these as a gift but I just want to share with you guys these say gather together thankful and blessed these are my favorite these say sweater weather and these are my favorite makeup fine so they have this keep it peachy um i think this is a blush from wet and wild and they also have this blazing berry one um also seeing the photo focus foundation sticks unfortunately not in my color um but i do use the photo focus finishing powder i love it i get it from five below but you can find it you can find it anywhere um this location has in the master camo concealer um item and also the lip palette which i love and i use i have used several times um even have the wet and wild silicone blenders which i love a silicone blender so i mean some finds that normally i wouldn't see here um always plenty of la colors that's never hard to find down here. They also have the liquid cat suit, the Mega Last liquid cat suit in this nice color. Um, I don't think this will work great with my complexion, but this is called Peach Stole My Look. Yeah. And they do have another darker color here. I don't know. I'm sorry. They do have another darker color here. Um, they have the lip liners, which I really don't do a lip liner. I'm just trying to show you anything new that I see, but not anything that you haven't seen anywhere else. This is not new stuff. It's just new to this location and this area. I also found this blush and it's called Fantastic Plastic Pink. Coffee drinks are new. So they have this Nescafe Black Rose Intense. And then they have this cold brew latte yeah these are new i've never seen these at dollar tree before never seen this before this is called magic power multi-purpose cleaner with hydrogen peroxide removes tough soap scum and hard water stains never seen this before and you get a 32 fluence ounce bottle i'm on the fence with it i don't know what do you guys think juncture they have the multi-purpose bandanas and they have them in new patterns so this is the red and black buffalo plaid they do have solid colors and they also have i don't know if this is white or gray it looks like gray uh buffalo plaid found the bubble cake um it's from body and earth it says crumble under running water for a frothy bubble bath and this uh, fragrance is berry bliss that's the only one I'm seeing but I'm making a bath basket so I'm happy to find this because I'll toss this in
New Yardley soaps, so they have um, Cannabis Givery. What does that mean? Frosted Cranberry. Lord have mercy. And uh, Cinnamon Swirl. Let me walk away. New for this year is the Buffalo Plaid wine bottle bags. Either you have a choice of the small Buffalo Plaid uh, checks or the large. They have them in the red and black and the black and white. Um, with the red, it's not a good match. It might look like it on camera, but this is more of a dark cranberry. It's, it's not an exact match to this bright red. So I don't know. I think they should have either did black or either dark brown would have looked better. But these are new for this year. Balloons. Never seen these before. One says it's a boy and the other it's a girl. You know someone having a baby. Got these new velvet poster kits. So they have a Jurassic Park one and it comes with the markers. They have a five piece velvet shaped stand up one that's a mermaid, a llama, a unicorn, and they also have another dinosaur. They have these Make It Blocks Fantasy World characters. This is really, really cute. Perfectly imperfect. It has the beautiful palm trees. And I'm saying, what is this? When you open it, it's post-its with different shapes, um, different sizes, I'm sorry. Really, really cool. Just wanna see how much you get. Not bad. They also have this one that says good times. I'm only seeing these two varieties. They're really, really cute. Two pack wool shelves are new. They finally made it this way. Now I seen these when they were still in the box and I said, I'll come back the next day. And this is the only one left. So things are flying off the shelf. This is the first time that I'm seeing this mug. Santa's little helper. Never seen this one before. Hi guys, I am back with another Dollar Tree haul. I hope you enjoyed the in-store. Um, my stores are still $1.00. Um, I heard the manager telling somebody that the prices could go up as soon as next month. He also shared that uh, in Washington, which is about 20 minutes from us, they went up to $1.10. And uh, Wilson, a store that when I do my road trips, I go to, I believe that they are $1.25. So the price increase is coming our way. But my location that's right across the street from me, that has become my favorite uh, Dollar Tree location. Um, they are going to be a Dollar Tree Plus within the next six months, which I'm really, really excited about. And there's the nearest Dollar Tree Plus location from me is an hour away. So I'm really, really excited about that. Not so much for um, like the laundry detergent that you can buy there for $5 or the Dawn soap, the big, I don't know, it's a 40 ounce bottle for $5. I can go to Target, Walmart. That that I like the seasonal items at the Dollar Tree Plus location. That's what I like. Um, it's very family dollar-ish, Dollar General. So it could be like all of my favorites in one store. That's what I'm looking forward to. Because a lot of the Dollar Tree Plus items I have seen, like my porch um, sign, the Dollar Tree Plus location had them. Family Dollar also had the same exact ones, no different. And a lot of other decor Family Dollar had, which is right behind that Dollar Tree. So um, anyway, let's get into this Dollar Tree haul. Happy to see some new makeup finds. Um, not much, but uh, some of the Wet n Wild blushes that I know was probably in New York months ago, months, months, months ago. But this color is uh, really nice, really pink. I don't know how I'll do it with my complexion, but it's fantastic plastic pink. It reminds me of Barbie. And then they had this one, Blazing Berry. It's a little bit darker, but all of them, sorry for the glare, have a shimmer in them. So I was really excited about that. So, you know, I grabbed both of them. Um, I'm making a bath basket for someone for Christmas, and I'm happy to find this. And there's another variety. I hope I find it. This is Body and Earth Bubble Cake, and it's a crumble. 
um, crumble under running water for a frothy bubble bath. So I'm happy to find this. Like I said, there's another one, so I'm hoping I'll be on the lookout for it. But I just seen that yesterday. Really, no other beauty finds. I'm still on the hunt for the new Ioni makeup. And uh, they have tools now. And they have makeup. I'm excited about it. I hope it comes my way. I don't... I hope. That's all we can do is hope. So that's that. I wanted to let you guys know. Oh my God. I love it. I went back for more. This is the Sweet Hot Mustard. Now, I had mine, Mr. Fuller made smothered pork chops on Sunday. And I just, with a plain fried pork chop, I had some of the mustard. It was delicious. So this would be great on ham and cheese sandwich. I had mine with pretzels. I love it. So I went back and got another one. I did get a, another peach jam. And there's another jam that I didn't see. So when I run in Dollar Tree today, I'm going to see if they have it. It was um, Seedless Blackberry. I seen somebody haul. And when she picked up the Seedless Blackberry, it was in the same box with the peach jam. So sometimes they do that where one item will be in the front and a different variety will be in the back, not mixed. So maybe that's why I didn't see it. But I'm going to go back and look for it. But people who have tried these say these are pretty good. And Marilyn, one of our cyber family members, told me to try this. I'm going to try it. This is the hot pepper jelly. And one of the associates told me she put it on her meatball. She said it's not spicy. I don't know. I'm nervous, but I'm going to try it. Might love it. So if you were making a basket, these items came right on time. And something else in the food section I got, not for me so much, for Mr. Fuller. They had strawberry preserves from Pampa. It's a nice size jar. It's ice cold because I had it in the car. So he likes strawberry. You know, I like grape, but that's that. Something that I have not seen in Dollar Tree for a while. I, ha I have no idea if this is associated with the delivery delays, but I haven't been able to find these cups and I haven't needed them either because Mr. Fuller bought a huge pack from Costco that lasted forever. We go through these cups. If the environment police were going door to door, we probably would be in trouble with the amount of Ziploc and plastic straws and we would be taken in for questioning, definitely, if nothing else. But anyway, he said, I spy. I used to buy these all the time. He's, and his motivation for going to Costco is he was tired of seeing these red cups, but you were drinking out of them, whatever. So I only got one of these red cups. I said, I'll put them up next week for Christmas. It's just going to be me, him, and my mom. And uh, hopefully she, she'll be off, but we'll work it out where she's here. Um, so I got green. These are translucent and his favorite color, purple. I don't like this, but whatever. I did this because he's tired of these. I don't know if it makes him feel like an alcoholic. You know, because sometimes people associate these cups with drinking, you know. Maybe it's just me. I don't know. But I don't mind them. But whatever. It's a plastic cup. Disposable that I don't have to wash. So I did pick those up. I did pick up these. I don't always see these at Dollar Tree. But this is the stainless steel scouring pads. I don't always see them. Three for a dollar. And I paid a dollar fifty for two at Family Dollar. So, um, yeah. Don't always see them. And I did break down and buy these wipes. But not for my house. I bought these for my car. These are because my glass is horrible. I can't see sometimes. Um, Streak-free advanced formula glass plus. I did open them and make sure there were no molds. What I don't like about these wipes is that there's no plastic seal. You know, a lot of times you buy these wipes, you have to open a seal, you know, and the other ones that they had with like the multi-purpose wipes, I think they were 180 or they might've been 160. I don't even know if it's the same company. One of the packages had molds. I bought three, so I returned it. But I did open this, and I'm going to use it in my car. I'm not going to use it in my house, but I did want to share it with you guys. Last thing from the houseware section is I just got another broom head because when I was sweeping the patio, I used my broom that I used for the house. So once I did that, it can't come back inside. So that's what that is for. I was lucky enough to find more of these containers. This is your entertainers, food packaways, best friend. 
your half pans transfer right into these. The lid snaps on. It's no messy aluminum foil. It's no when you want leftovers, trying to figure out where the lasagna went, where's the meatballs, and you got to take everything out and open each thing one by one. This and they, these hold up. They last. They don't really stain. I swap them out like once a year, like just toss them and get new ones. I mean, they hold up that well. I was able to find two before Thanksgiving and I got three more. So now I have five. This should be enough. So happy I found those. I had to go back, y'all. I love these. If I didn't say it before, now you know. I love it. I got two more of this size in gray. I put my craft stuff in them. I put, um, you know, my acrylic paints went in here. Um, I put my lashes. I have one full of Ioni lashes. And this one, I put makeup. Another one, I have makeup wipes. This is just, and they're clear. You could see what you're looking at. I love it. They're gone, y'all. At the Dollar Tree, and I only seen these at one of my Dollar Tree locations, and that's the one across the street, my fave. That's going to be the Dollar Tree Plus. I went to all of the Dollar Trees in the immediate area. Nobody else had them, and I went back yesterday. I was going to buy another one of these. Gone. All gone. Um, and I don't blame people for buying them. I don't, because these are really, really nice, and you're not going to get them anywhere else. These... I feel that these are the same quality of some of the storage containers from Target. Um, Target has a store brand. I don't know what they call their brand, but they have storage containers. Um, Walmart, you're going to pay a lot more. So I'm happy that I got those. I'm just trying to make sure I don't miss anything. In the stationery section, I have my eye out for something, and I haven't seen it yet. But anyway, I've seen staples. I don't always see staples and I bought a Dollar Tree when I was in New York had a full size stapler that you would have, you know, an office desk. They tend to always have the mini ones, but a full size staple, but there was never no staples. So, um, this is 3000 staples. I picked it up something else. And I thought this was like a gift box or whatever like this. Look how cool this is. This is perfectly imperfect. I love the palm trees. I can't wait to go somewhere where there's palm trees. And when you open it, look at this. So you could make somebody a nice stationary gift. Dollar Tree has an awesome stationary section. I don't always show you guys on the end store because I'm not looking for those things. And I told you I'm kind of selfish when I go to Dollar Tree. I like I have things on my mind that I'm looking for. And most of the time, I'm going to be honest with you, it's not stationary items. But now I do have something I'm looking for. But look at this. So cool. I wish the pad, but you probably could swap it out with another post-it pad. I wish it was not pink because if you wanted to give this to a man, you know what I mean? Um, you know, some men might not mind it, but some people might not, you know, some men might not like the pink, you know what I mean? So yeah, this is cool. I really like this. I'm trying to go in order. We're winding down. This is not a big haul. Found more toys. Okay, for the Chunker Monk. So, you know, I was worried that, and I felt bad that I got him a lot of clothes and not that many toys. Mr. Fuller did purchase something. He likes Ryan's World on Black Friday for him. Um, but I really couldn't find no toys. And again, like I told you guys, I don't want to waste my money in toys when they get broken, when they get left at this one's house or this one cousin took it. It, it just, that burns me up. I want to buy him something that he can enjoy. Okay. Anyway, um, so I'm happy that I found these Hot Wheels. These are pretty, pretty cool. So this is Monster Trucks from Hot Wheels and this is Mega Rex. So they had multiple ones and they're like, um, they favor, not favor, um, you know, I guess inspired by dinosaurs or whatever. Really cool. I got him this one. This is Lava Shark. And they had more, but this is all I got him. And I have never seen a Hot Wheels plane. This is new for 2021 from Marvel X-Men, and it's a plane. I've never seen a Hot Wheels plane, y'all. I did not know they make them. I know they make buses and a, a wide variety of automobiles. I did not know they made planes. And I had got him 
some crowns and I had got him a coloring activity book. Sorry, I rocked you a little bit. Um, I had got him that. So I wanted to get him more um, books to do. Okay. So this is a Hot Wheels coloring book, which was really, really cool. Um, it has things for him to color, some activities. Then this one is Fun Stuff and Fine Color. So this is like rocket space and stuff like that. I thought that was, you know, boy appropriate. And this one is really cool because he loves PJ Masks. And this is the first time I've seen a PJ Masks coloring book at Dollar Tree. So now he has like four activity books and a big box of crowns. And I don't have to worry about him coloring my walls. He can color the walls where he lives. So yeah, this is going into his package. Um, anybody else struggling with wrapping? I can't like get it together with wrapping. I'm like so behind on wrapping and I know I said I was gonna do it. I did some, I did, but then I ran out of tape. And then I decided, and I don't know if mentally this was my way of getting out of work, saying that I wanted different wrapping paper, like a variety, because I only had bought like one roll of wrapping paper for the kids, which probably wouldn't have been enough. So I picked up two more wrapping paper. I think this one is really cute and it just screams Christmas with the gingerbread men, the candy canes. I just love it. The lollipops. So I got that one. Then I got Spongebob because all of the licensed, all the ones, the Disney princess for the granddaughter, like everything's gone. Everything's gone, guys. If you go into the store, went in Target last night, gone. Gone. Christmas is next weekend. Gone. So I got Spongebob. Okay. I don't even know if they know who Spongebob is. So I go back to work tonight. I had off four nights. I feel that I got some things accomplished, but it's just like, I know I feel the procrastination and I don't like it. I don't, I don't like it. So I really have to whip it into high gear. Uh, something else now, this is a perfect example of things flying off the shelves. Perfect example. I was at Dollar Tree the other day. These were still in the box and they were way down. I mean, the, I couldn't even get to the box to open them if I wanted to because this was packed way down. So I said, oh, I'll be back tomorrow. Well, this was the last one. This is the two count wall shelf. Pretty cool for a dollar. Something like this will be at five below for $5, maybe three. I'm saying it would be $5. You can paint the wood, you can stain the wood if you don't like the natural wood color, which I'm not a big fan of natural wood color. Um, really, really cool. I don't personally have a use for this right now, but I don't know, maybe I will. You know, one day, and then I'll say, damn, I should have got it. You know what I mean? So I picked that up. Yeah, this is not going to take up a lot of space for me to store somewhere. So I bought this to put up. And the last thing I want to show you, and I saved it for last because all of the glitter. And I just got rid of all the glitter in here. Is on my light post in the front, I wanted to do something. So I got this bell and I'm going to be adding some um, poinsettias to it and some greenery to zhuzh it up. I'm just going to hold it up out of the back, y'all, because I can't with this daggone glitter and it is glitter. Can you see it? I'm like holding it up like this. So I'm going to be adding a poinsettia and some greenery to the top and I'm going to hang this from my front door light. I was going to do the back, but the back I'm done with. And I, I hung something from the light post there already. And I'm just going to leave that. Um, and this will go in the front. I just got to add the stuff to it. I know I said I'm tired of decorating, but I didn't see the bells. I was looking for them and they were sold out. And I happened to go back yesterday and they were there. I got two more things to tell you guys. This is the ATV. Uh, I hauled it in the last. Um, Dollar Tree haul. It doesn't come with the guns. Okay, so this, just forget the guns for a second. This is the ATV, the Arrow ATV. 
that the final faction action figures goes with. I thought it was going to be hard to put together. It snapped together one, two, three. Now, the other one I bought, I thought was a different ATV, but it's not. It's the accessories to go with this ATV. So it came with the guns. And it comes with the plates to go over, cover the arrow. It comes with sides that you can snap on. Um, and it comes with a bumper um, that you could put on the front. However, they don't snap on properly. And I don't want to, I mean, this is okay for a dollar, um, but trying to snap it on, I, I don't want to force it. Um, I'll see if Mr. Fuller can help me. If not, I'm just going to give him the ATV just like this. So personally, I don't know if it's a, a manufacturing defect, but they're not snapping on like they're supposed to. None of the pieces are snapping on like they're supposed to. It's a dollar. Okay, so I think I'm just going to give him this like this, but I wanted it assembled because I know it, it would not have gotten assembled. He would have been playing with pieces or just would have sat in a box and got thrown out. Being honest, that's just what it would happen. They don't have the patience in assembling things. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to show you guys that. And we have another giveaway. Are you excited? I'm excited. The only part about the giveaways that I hate is that if I only have one, only one person can win. And then I feel bad for the other people that entered. Because I would hate to lose. I never enter giveaways. I watch other YouTube videos and they have fabulous giveaways. Much more fabulous than mine. And I never enter because I think I entered one time into a wig giveaway. This is when I was wearing wigs. And a company that I used to buy for, they would give wigs away all the time. I never won. I think I entered maybe twice. So me, I don't play lotto. I get mad. If I buy a scratch off and I don't win, I get mad. So I don't enter. So I apologize to those of you that enter and if you don't win, because I just, I, I, I hate losing and I don't like, you know, I just, I just don't like it. I wish I could give all of you something because I appreciate all of you rocking with your girl, but the giveaway is going to be a nail giveaway. So roll tape. Okay, guys, this giveaway was inspired by the mini gel lamp from B Color at Dollar Tree. So included, you're going to get an acetone uh, nail polish remover. You're going to get a cuticle oil, a cuticle remover. You're also going to get the mini gel lamp, a gel polish from Sally Hansen. I have some emery boards from California Nails and also some nail decor jewels from LA Colors. What you don't see here is a manicure kit that I'm going to toss and I'm going to run out and pick it up. Um, yeah, so this is the giveaway, the next giveaway, and you can enter by emailing me at Dollar Tree Queen 76. Good luck. To enter the giveaway, email me at dollartreequeen76 at gmail.com and do not enter into the comments. That doesn't count. You have to email me and a winner will be picked. Today is Tuesday. So Tuesday, Thursday, Friday. A winner will be picked Friday because I want to get this in the mail to you. That doesn't really work. We got to do this fast, guys. I need the winner to be... Be looking for an email from me Friday morning, okay? You will be notified if you are the winner because I need your address because the post office is not open down here on Saturday. So I can't, you know, I want to get this in the mail Friday because I want you to at least get it by Christmas, hopefully. Um, yeah. Yeah, be looking for an email from me Friday morning. Um that you won if you if you are the winner okay i use a random selector to pick somebody um yeah and if you're interested dollar tree queen 76 at gmail.com that's how you enter thanks for rocking with your girl i will talk to you guys soon let me know how you're doing in the comments are you done with christmas shopping are you still shopping have you not started yet i'd love to know take care bye bye as always, guys, thanks for watching. If you're new, subscribe. I'd love to have you. For my returning subscribers, thank you for your support. Follow me on IG at Dollar Tree Queen 76 and please don't forget the thumbs up.